Hallelujah. Let's put our hands together for Jesus. Let's put our hands together for Jesus. Come on and put your hands together for Jesus. Well, um, as our daddy started on fire, I said, God, are you sure we still need to uh, operate here? This fire is becoming too much. Uh, the, after he has finished all the fire, how will I step here to come a minister? It's not going to be easy. Let's put our hands together for Pastor Damien. Thank you, sir. You know, there are friends you associate yourself with. You know, um, in my teaching in John Maxwell, I was given um, five minutes with John Maxwell uh, during my graduation. And for the first time, John Maxwell stood throughout. He said he has been seeing leaders. This is the first time you will see a leader on fire. Every second matter. I said, wow. If you go to my Facebook page, you will see me and John Maxwell. Do you understand? He gave me five minutes of vision. He stood throughout. He said, every second mattered. You know? So, I want to guarantee you that you could leave everything. Every second today is blessed and consecrated to God. Amen. Yeah. Amen. And uh, for someone here, this will be your best Christmas. I don't know whether you are here, but for someone, whether the person is hearing on TV, but it's going to be your best Christmas. Amen. Amen. But before I go, I need to appreciate Mama before I enter into trouble. Come on and put your hands together for Pastor Nick Uzoro. Come on. Now. Hallelujah. I, I, do you know that, do you know the secret? Um, as I was preparing and praying, uh, I remember an incident that happened to me as I just got married. I fear women. This woman we are seeing. Which, who is asking for your opinion? <laughs> Do you know that one day I went to minister somewhere? I think it's here that I came one night. No, no, sorry. I remember. Okota. And by, I normally leave my phone. I don't like distraction. My wife was calling. And we have finished. I told her I'm spending two hours in that church. From 12 that they handed over the microphone to me. I finished by 3 a.m. I told them I want to go. They said, no, I'm robbers are too much. I said, no, 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 no. My type is not the one that I'm robber will see and, and be able to stop. So don't worry yourself. I will go. The pastor insisted that I stay. I have forgotten my phone. My wife called close to 40 times when I got home women when I got home I greeted she didn't answer there is nothing I didn't tell her please don't give her this message you. that morning she went to work and came back as I entered the room at night I saw a knife beside the bed <laughs> when I saw the knife, the knife, I said, ah, what is this knife doing here? I slept, she slept. Do you think I will have a good night's sleep? <laughs> Do you know throughout the night, I slept with one eye open. If she turned this way, I will follow her turn. When she got up, me too, I got up. <laughs> she said, ah, are you not sleeping? You had vision and you didn't rest. I said, sleep, no Greek home. <laughs> it was much later in the morning when she saw the knife. She said, ah, who brought this knife here? I said, are you not the one that brought knife? Is that not the reason I've not been able to sleep? <laughs> and that was the time that everybody was killing their husband. <laughs> so I said, for knife to enter here, before the talk, see, a general was killed by his wife. Nah, come. With two eyes open, that's why they sleep. You better clap for Pastor Nike. It's not easy. Yo. Any man, any woman that can pastor Pastor Demir must be very strong. I'm telling you, Pastor Nike, well done. Thank you. 
And of course, my brother, let's clap for pastor. Thank you. And of course, my very good friend. These are senior pastors, my very good friends. They are my prayer partner. And there's another pastor in that place. He said he doesn't want to be introduced. He wants to be observing you. If you are not praying or you are sitting down as I'm talking, he will be making sure you know you. why are you standing up now. Let your name be there. Praise the Lord. There is Pastor Uche in the midst, in the crowd. I'm not going to tell you who he is. He's sitting down among you. Amen. So I came here loaded. Amen. With heavenly hosts and also physical pastors. Put your hands together for Jesus. Put your hands together for Jesus. Amen. So before you sit down, if you are still sitting down, stand up. I need you to take your bag. Make sure you hold your bag like this. Go to five people and tell them, my miracle will be bigger than your own today. Five people. <laughs> Count and make sure it's up to five. Don't miss this kind of this kind of time uh, choir 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 where are you people hallelujah sit down sit down please sit down sit down what what was the scripture i gave us last wednesday what was the scripture i gave us ezekiel 37 let's go please ezekiel 37 from verse 1 is get 37 i will try to be very brief somebody say amen <laughs> uh, that is very difficult that is very difficult is it get 37 and i would like you to help me read loud and clear very difficult to tell you that i will finish early because for me i'm trusting god that this is my last time here in December, I'll be pastor. Oh, if God have not said so, uh, well, praise God. Are you ready? Lift up your right hand, and the hand of the Lord was upon me and carried me out. You, you have to read loud, very clear, please. One to go, and the hand of the Lord was upon me and carried me out in the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the midst of the valley, which is which was full of bones, verse 2, quickly, 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 and caused me to pass by them round about, and behold, there were very many in the open valley, and lo, they were very dry, verse 3, and he said unto me, son of man, can this bone live? And I answered, O oh Lord God, thou knowest. Verse 4, again, he said unto me, stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up. Don't say anything yet. Oh. And he said, don't, again, he said unto me, yes, go ahead, prophesy upon these bones and say unto them, O oh ye dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Yes, go on. Verse 5, verse 5. Thus said the Lord God unto this bone. Behold, I will cause the breath to enter into you, and ye shall live. Please, if your hand is not paining you, just raise it and as a prophetic word today. Verse, verse 6, I will lay sinews upon you, and bring up flesh upon you, and cover you with skin, and put breath in you, and you shall live, and you shall know that I am the Lord. Verse 7, verse 7, we are very close. So... Come on and help me. What did you say? So, uh, who is that? Who? So, I, Matthew, and Milo prophesied as I was commanded, and as I, there was, and behold, a shaking, and the bones came together, and bones to his bone. Thank you. Sit down. Praise the Lord. So, I will be talking about the power of prophecy the power of prophecy the power of prophecy any believer that does not understand the power of prophecy will suffer in life can I say that again any believer that does not understand the power of prophecy will suffer in life what is prophecy 
prophecy is the mind of God in a particular time for a man, for a group of people, for a church, for a locality or state or a nation. Could be the whole wide world. Prophecy is the mind of God for a season. Prophecy is very powerful. Power, prophecy is the declaration that could come at any time. Whenever God's presence comes, there must be prophecy. The Bible says whenever there is presence of God, there must be prophecy. In other words, in a church, you are blessed with those that could understand the mind of God. Joel chapter 2, if you go to verse 28, Joel chapter 2, verse 28. Joy to and it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, your old men shall dream dreams, your young men shall see vision. Prophecy is the mind of God. God wants you to prophesy. God wants you to prophesy. No man is too small to prophesy. No man is too old to prophesy. Prophecy does not mean that the person is a prophet. It doesn't mean that the person is a prophet. If you are waiting for a prophet to speak, they, will, they may refuse to speak. In 1 Samuel chapter 3, the Bible says that the word of God was, was precious. There was no open vision. The word of God couldn't come. And thereby, Israel remained stagnant. Nothing was working. Why? The absence of prophecy signals danger. When God is not speaking again, when God is not talking again, there is problem. One of the first signs you will know that you are in trouble is when you are not hearing the voice of God again. If you are not hearing the voice of again, God again in your life, for your life, anywhere you go, nobody is speaking to you. You know you are finished. You are totally finished. If God wants to destroy a man, he seals the heaven over you. What does he seal the heaven to do? He seals the heaven so that the world will not be able to come down. One single word from God would that could liberate you for life. A lot of people don't hear God twice. They only hear God once. Some. Acts chapter 2 from verse 1 to 8. You read the Bible clearly. You see and um, Bible talking about the, when the day of Pentecost came. The people gathered together. There was a sound as a mighty rushing wind. The only thing that will signify, that will show forth that heaven has met with earth is that there was prophecy. And the people began to speak. And they gave utterance. And even though they were speaking different languages, according to verse 8, the Bible said that and the people began to utter different languages, but they spoke. As a believer, you must learn how to talk and declare and prophesy. If the word they use is too big for you, that can, 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 can somebody raise this? Can I, need, can I get a volunteer? Can I get a volunteer? Who, who can volunteer for me with a second microphone, please? Somebody should volunteer. Somebody, I need a volunteer. Somebody to be the one that I will use. What's wrong with everybody? Thank you, Jared. Come. Thank you. Give him microphone. Give him the second microphone. The one that is working. Thank you. Now, I want you to say to this man that he shall be well with him. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Do it in a special way. Okay. Use your mind, not your mouth, to tell him that he shall be well with him. Yes, yes. In Anuguibu. What did I say? Okay, book answer. I say use you, your mind to prophesy. From your mind, not mouth. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, well, sir. Although the thing, but he was born in Ebo land. Daddy. In a, in a main man, amen. Owe Okuru. Owe Okuru now. 
He did not say anything. You are already receiving. This man is a dangerous connector. Very dangerous in the spirit. He is ready to connect. Do, 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 do you understand what I'm trying to communicate to you? Now, if you don't say anything with this your mouth, nothing can happen. Nothing. From his heart, he wants to bless this man. But his mouth is keeping mute. He, he, he has good intention towards this man, but his mouth is sealed. If no matter how good you are, if you don't learn how to talk, nothing can move. Nothing can work. Things remain the same until you learn how to talk. So prophecy is talking. Wow, did I just say something to somebody here? Yes, prophecy is talking. Somebody say, I will talk today. Talk. Come on, I say, you better say, I will talk today. Talk. And my talk will produce answer. Talk. One more time, say, I will talk today. And whatever I talk, I shall see you working for me. I'm, I'm speaking to a few people here. I don't know. I don't know. I say it. I will talk today. And whatever I talk shall come to pass. Hallelujah. Give me that scripture. What is that scripture that says, and thou shalt decree a thing? He was talking to about me. Did you, did, did you see the scripture? And you will see it. You will see the name that is there. Give me that scripture. And thou and Matthew shall decree a thing, and it shall be ah, that scripture. Pastor Demian, eh? Job 20, 22, 28. Name that scripture. You will see. My papa carried me to Job and put my name there. The only those that were there when I was born. Check what name is there. And Matthew shall also decree 18 and it shall be established unto Matthew. And the light shall shine upon Matthew's way. Now, okay. I have one supporter. What's wrong? What's wrong here? When my papa burned me, he took me to your brother Job. When you see her as gift, and told him that from today, this Matthew, whatever you decree, it shall be so. So, those people who are like Matthew, stand up. That whatever you decree today, you are sure, whatever you decree today, it shall be established unto you. And I want you to lift up your right hand and save my father. I, Matthew Amailo, I decree in the name of Jesus Christ that it shall be well with me. I will end this year better. I will not suffer setbacks. I will not suffer calamity. I will never see evil. In the name of Jesus, I will keep seeing success. Good news is my portion. Those of you who are saying it, say it better. Thank you. Amen. Sit down, sit down, sit down. So, we are talking about prophecy, talking. Prophecy brings new season. When you want to introduce new season into your life, into your home, prophecy. Use prophecy. Prophecy introduces change. When things are working, when things are not working, and you want to make things to work better, prophecy will help you. Your turning point, point in life is in your tongue. No wonder the Bible says that Proverbs chapter 3, sorry, Proverbs 18, 21. He said, death and life are in the power of the tongue. Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. It's not everybody that eats the fruit of life. Some people suffer and they keep suffering. That will not be your portion today in the name of Jesus. In fact, Luke chapter 21, verse 15 has an answer for somebody. Luke 21, verse 15. Luke 21, for I will give you a mouth. And a wisdom which all my enemy shall not be able to gainsay nor resist. Why is he giving you a mouth so that you can do what you can use it? To
to talk. Confession. The tragedy of the church is that the church has a responsibility to, to talk. But the church is returning the responsibility back to God. Say, God, help me. God say, I have helped you. I have given you everything. You say, how? God say, I have put everything that you need, everything pertaining to life and godly. Where? In your mouth. Ezekiel 37 from verse 1. He said, can this bone live? He said, I don't know. Happen. I don't know. Only you know. Nobody knew that the solution was with a man. Things were not working. Nobody expected that the dead, dry bone could ever come to life and it would take man. Everybody thought it, was, it would take God. Do you know that many of us here are thinking that God is going to surface? And then once you see God, you will see your problem. Go and ask anybody that has seen the picture of Jesus, that have seen the revelation of Jesus. Thank God one person saw Jesus yesterday. Stroke this, uh, yesterday stroke this morning. My brother, if you don't learn how to talk, your problem continues. You only see revelation of Jesus Christ. When you see him, you'll be, you be laughing. <laughs> um, welcome. How are you? Thank you. You will go back. Your problem continues. Why? Because he has given you everything pertaining to life and godly. Where? In your mouth. You must learn how to fight by yourself. You must learn how to talk. He won't do it from heaven. He will do it by your talking. There is power in this tongue. Power. How many of you have ever seen any habali that is dumb? Have you seen any habali that... <laughs> Eh? Have you seen a, do a herbalist that is dumb? When you went to a herbalist, you want to see an herbalist, and he's telling him, be, 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 be. He said, mm? He said, mm, 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 mm. Why can't an herbalist be dumb? You know why? Because their own God required them talking. And the devil is a copycat. He copies. Whatever you see God do, because thank God for that scripture that Pastor Damien read. It was cast down from heaven. So everything that they used to do in heaven, that's what you see that they are doing here on earth. So he knows. You can never, you can manage a pastor that is dumb. Some people will still follow the pastor. If a pastor is blind, they will follow. I may not be so. Yes, now. If a pastor is blind, they will follow. If you, if you go to a blind pastor and they tell you, go, put your, to your head inside the river and put it there for five days and you do, and they say, walk. Now you go tell others, say, Nagadia. You say, ah. Then the day you are privileged to see the pastor, you see that the pastor is blind. Number one, your confidence is finished. But the miracle will keep taking you back there. That's one thing about, about Christianity. A, a pastor can be dumb and God still you use him. Why? Because that's the original one. The counterfeit one. If you go, me, 1993, I went to one hospital. 92 or 93. One, one hospital. As I entered there, I was shivering. I had cold. As I entered to see my doctor, it was free medical. As I entered to see my doctor, I saw my doctor too. <laughs> He's also suffering cold. I was looking at him. <laughs> he said, sit down, don't worry. I'm coming. So he was doing like this. Ah, the same thing that is wrong with me is wrong with the doctor. So the doctor said, eh, I'm ready for you now. What is wrong with you? I said, again, what do you mean? What is wrong with me? You, what is wrong with you? <laughs> he said, no, I'm the doctor. I said, no lie. You are not the doctor. I am the doctor. You are sick. He said, but you came here because you are sick. I said, yes, I came here because I'm sick. I'm meeting a sick patient. So the two of us cannot cure each other. <laughs> cure yourself first before I tell you what is wrong with me. I came outside. I said, God, from today, I give my head to you. No doctor again. That's the only thing, no? 
Because that's the day I knew that doctors were human beings. I never knew that doctors are the ones that take over all. I didn't know. I thought they wore you from heaven. <laughs> you won't believe it. I never knew that they gave them over all from, from the hospital. It was that they are new. When a doctor, whether he's a farmer, just wear white, everybody begin to bow. Doctor, 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 doctor. Don't put your faith in a man. Put your faith in God. There's nothing wrong in hospital. There's nothing wrong with drug. But there's something wrong if you take drug without faith. There's absolutely something wrong. You will suffer sickness more if you don't deliver yourself with that faith. Can I get somebody to say amen to that? Yeah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So today is a day we are going to pray. Because the battle between David and Goliath was by talking. It was one long time ago when David issued that statement, pronounced that statement. It wasn't during the war. It was pronounced. Who is this infidel that defied the army of the Lord? He said it with his mouth. You are going to say some dangerous things today. Can I get somebody to say amen? amen. I said you will say some dangerous things today. Amen. With whose mouth? My own mouth or your own mouth? <laughs> Can I get somebody from here? Say with my mouth. With my mouth. Look at this man. Say with my, with my mouth. Stand up. Stand up everybody here. Say with my mouth. With my mouth. I will say dangerous things concerning my destiny. And it shall come to pass. One more to say with my mouth. I will address the problem of my life. And I will be better than the best. Say it louder. Say I will be better than the best. I will receive fresh anointing. That will take me international. Can you imagine the way you are talking? Hallelujah. Uh, sorry, sorry. If, 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 say, say, say it again. Sorry. I just released very dangerous anointing. Say I will receive... I will receive something today. As my geo permit. That, that will take me and make me an influencer. Throughout the whole world. I will speak of God. Of his greatness in divine majesty. And I will not rebel against divine majesty. I think. I have rectified that. <laughs> nah. I almost do something very dangerous now. Praise the Lord. Didn't I tell you my story? One day in my church, I just made a mistake. I told them, everybody bring your passport. If you are going to, for interview in abroad, bring it. I'm going to anoint all of you. Now so, and I told them, Sunday evening, everybody, kata, 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 church full. Now so I carry anointing. In the name of Jesus, when I finish, that's when I remember, ah, wait, oh, which church I do this thing, self? That's when I remember that my church, oh, it wasn't another person's church, that my church. Hey, I said, God, oh, hey, wait. How many people go to me for church? Piam, before I know, five people from the choir, London. Piam. This one go. I began to cry. God, no. Re reduce this thing. God say, useful, exuberant is not an excuse. Let them go. And God said, don't worry, I will replace them. But God does, uh, you are saying hallelujah. He didn't he take five years to replace. <laughs> Took five years. People began before you know this one, you just got that, that anointing work. I said, which useless anointing? Which useless anointing? Wicked anointing. Everybody wants to go abroad. Praise the Lord. So before I pray for you today, I will be wise. Amen. Before Pastor Damien tell me, please. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. And Goliath fell. Why did they fall? Just five stones from a small boy. No, the prophecy had gone out. You are going to say some things today and it will work. 
you will release it into the air and it will go on a run for you can i get somebody to say amen? amen hallelujah your miracle is in your lips your miracle is in your lips today you will speak and it will come to pass in the name of jesus greatness belong to those who can talk not to those that can keep quiet i can talk and i know somebody here can talk amen i know you can talk there are four things that happens when we prophesy i started with that last wednesday there are four things that happen when we prophesy four things like i told us last wednesday the first thing that happened is that there is a noise when you prophesy there is always a noise silence is silence is the sign of barrenness any home that there, there, there is no child the only thing you are going to recognize in that home is quietness i'm telling you it's not possible now if i get to my house if i get to my house the first thing you'll be hearing daddy 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 welcome silence belong to barrenness anywhere you see that there, there is silence it's like a cemetery if you enter this church now and from morning there is no piano no drum nothing don't go to such church where things are just done and they are just reading bible no more noise can i get few people make some joyful noise this morning <laughs> noise is a sign that god has visited you noise is a sign that god has visited you amen noise is a sign that god has visited you i need people that god is going to visit today today this hour this hour to stand up and make a joyful noise don't sit down yet don't sit down yet don't sit down yet please please do not sit down yet please now when two people are talking when two people are talking one is rich and one is poor which one will be quiet and which one will be we have the louder voice eh? the poor man now lie now lie you never see riches there is a way a rich man comes down from car. Once it comes down, the first thing that happened to the poor man is something in him will make him very wise to do what? To keep quiet. One day I heard this testimony in a church. Two people were praying. One person was praying in the church. God bless me. God bless me. God bless me. God bless me. Just this 150,000. Lord, 150,000. I'm okay. One rich man entered. Took 200,000. And gave to him. Drop it to the man. God. One. And look up. What do you want, sir? He say, stop disturbing God. Take your own. <laughs> I want to talk to, to him. That this is your 150 will be disturbing him. You just go, go. You say, what I want to discuss with him is, is millions, not 150,000. The man did not say anything. He didn't remember to even say thank you lord he just took the two hundred thousand and ran out and left god and the man if you were god wouldn't you answer the other one morning talk when you boom and say something i know good to come from here money is talking bible says money answer it all thing. there is a level of wealth that is coming into your life <laughs> It will silence every shame. It will silence every mockers. Where they thought you will not get to, you will get there. Somebody from here, I know that God is visiting every foundation of your life. 
by this encounter he will change your wardrobe he will change your story there is a noise that is coming from somewhere that noise is a noise of joy is a noise of wealth is a noise of health is a noise of breakthrough a noise of breakthrough a noise of favor a noise of divine connection somebody make a joyful noise unto the lord the first sign of prophecy is noise for two minutes whether you are tall or short i say stand up i don't know are you people tired i will leave you i will leave you i have few minutes i'm true the first thing you are going to do you keep shouting hallelujah 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 until i ask you to stop lift up your voice make a joyful noise by shouting hallelujah 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 Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hold on. In Judges chapter 6, God, sorry, Joshua chapter 6, God told them the principle of taking over the land. Even though the word of God says, I have given you the land. Even though God has promised you a good year, there are processes. And God said to them, you will come past around the city. Guess what? When they got near the city, the whole people begin to fear. They say, Chai! God is fighting for these people. But unknown to them, until there is a shout. Until there is a, a shout. God said to them, go around the city six times. On the seventh time, don't talk. Make sure the prophet, seven people, go round six times and let them wait for my signal. And when I give signal, they should make a joyful noise. And Bible recorded Judges chapter 6. Bible says when they gave a shout, the wall of Jericho fell down flat. Who touched them? When you make some noise, angels descend and they begin to fight your battle. Somebody here, I don't know who you are, the war before you, the war behind you, the war that have been coming from different quarters, coming from different homes, coming from different village. When you make a noise tonight, today, 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 as you make a noise today, there will be fighting, there will be fighting, there will be voice in the name of Jesus. Angels shall fight for you, angels shall fight for you, angels shall fight for you. 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 Hallelujah. Do you know that everybody that gave that shout, they were thinking that God would send angels, visible angels. But no, God is already waiting. I know somebody here. There is a blood that meets with your blood before. But I'm telling you, as you are giving this shout, Hallelujah. it's coming out. It's coming out. It's coming out. Can we do one more, one more, one more, one more? Make a joyful noise. Somebody scream. Praise the Lord. Shout unto the Lord. Glory in the Spirit. Shout. Shout. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. 
the Lord. Praise the Lord. Do you know that the psalmist says, he says, he say, clap your hand, O ye people. Shout unto God with a voice of triumph. He said, the shout of the king is found with his people. The shout of the king. I was told that there is a particular place in Osho State that the, the goddess of a river in Osho became water, even though it's a lie. But that's the, the history they have in Ocean State. That it became, she became a goddess by shouting because of what they did to her. So she screamed out of agony and she turned to water. And she went, yeah, and she went deep down there. And today she's a goddess. And the people go there to serve. And trust me, whether you like it or not, anything counterfeit must always have results. I'm telling you. There is something about shouting. There's something about shouting that Christians don't understand yet. Some people say that they are too rich. They don't like noise. You are not going to heaven, no. Heaven is a place of noise. There is no, there is no resting day and night. It is a place of noise. Worship every moment. As one people is finishing, people like us, when we finish, you maybe some of you will not join us later. Do you understand? Let me not digress. I don't want to offend some people because sometimes in my church I did this. Some people say, Pastor, that's the church I'm coming from. I don't say, yeah, okay, don't worry. Um, I apologize. So I don't know the church you are coming from. Which church are you coming from? Which one? Do you, where they born you here. They born you here. Oh God, where, which church are you coming from, Jerry? Uh -huh. you, what about you? Redeem. Uh -huh. If, if it was these two people, uh, Christ Link, I know your pastor. Redeem, I know your pastor. If it was these two people, I'm saved. These, are, these two people are my friends. They are, my, they are pastors. He's my friend. But you, you are a suspect. <laughs> or a suspect. Praise the Lord. You are going to give a shout, and it's a shout of victory. Shout of victory. Finally, finally. Finally, finally. Something has happened somewhere. Oh. Oh. Hallelujah. Glory. 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 Amen. I will never forget. One year, 2002, I stood before the church. I told them, that when you shout, God himself moves. And the move of God is to ensure that if there be any enemy hidden, do you understand? Because people don't know that Ekwensu Nabioka. I hope you know that. Oh, yes. So if there be any monitoring spirit that follow you here, when you give this shout, God himself begin to deal with them. One lady... She, although she later died but she was plagued with AIDS and <laughs> after seven days of prayer I told them just give a shout and she was shouting she was screaming and people were wondering what is wrong with the sister uh, Josephine then what is wrong but I knew why she was shouting, because she wanted the miracle more than others. You know, there are people that don't need miracle. They just want to, they love God. They love God. They just want to worship God. And so she, she began to scream. And all of a sudden, the power of God touched her as she shout, as she shouted. Boom. And she went to look to do the test. The same doctors, they check and check. They said, no, we, we can't believe you. We can't release you. They did it the second time. Did it three times. Three good times. My name was in the, in, the, in the paper. Three good times. And she was healed from one service. Just by shouting. I don't know how God do, does this miracle. 
But it's about to put your own name in that miracle. It's about to move on your behalf. God will move on your case. Every difficult case you are go, you are involved. He will move on your behalf. He will move on your behalf. Somebody praise the Lord. Move. Come on and make a joyful noise. Don't keep silent. Don't keep silent. Don't keep silent. He's moving on your behalf. He's moving on your behalf. He's moving on your behalf. He's moving. He's right through your village. He's moving on your village. He's going to your village. Every danger waiting on your way. Every ancestral power. Every coven that has your name. Every altar that I've been calling your name. The power of God is working. The power of God is working. Come on now. Somebody say, Pastor, how did she die? She died, she couldn't believe it. The person that wanted to marry her, wanted to marry her in a, with her AIDS. But immediately she was cured. That's where, you see, sin, sin in a church can only destroy you. And the two of them decided to have intercourse together. <laughs> but she forgot that the miracle was tied. The miracle was tied to righteousness. There is something I promise you today. You are going to see the power of God. Amen. You see, as relaxed as I am, I know that you will have the best Christmas this year. Amen. You will finish stronger. Amen. You are coming back Amen. with signs and wonder. Amen. The glory of God will cover you. Amen. The anointing of God will work for you. Amen. The Lord will open every closed door. Amen. The Lord will tear down every wall of perdition. And you will come out with shouting and praise to God in the name of Jesus. What has not worked before shall walk. Every no shall turn to yes. Everywhere they stop you before they will not stop you again. From today you become unstoppable. You are going higher from here. 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 You will expand to the left. You will expand to the left. You will expand to the right. You will go forward. Never backward. In the name of Jesus. And the power of God shall see you through. The power of God shall see you through. You are elevated today. You are promoted today. In the name of Jesus. The Lord will add to you. The Lord will increase you. The Lord will favor you. The Lord has blessed you. And you are blessed. There are seven of you. I ask God for a major, major miracle that he will do in your life and business. It's going to be mesmerizing. Can, can I get the seven people? Seven people, just make a joyful noise. 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 Hold on, hold on, 
Pick a partner, pick a partner, pick a partner. Come on now. <laughs> Except God has not sent me, you will never remain the same life. You are coming up on top. I'm telling you, look at your neighbor. Look at your neighbor. Hold hand, hold the person right hand. Uh, the same person, no. I'm about to release the power of God. I'm telling you, you will ju just to give you a sign. Who are you holding on? Look at this man. You that you were born in the vine. Now he is slow like this. Are you sure? You are not a true diviner. I'm about to ask that the power of God. Same person you know. Eh? Same person you know. For you to know that what is about to happen here is dangerous and big. Contagious anointing. Very contagious anointing. Close your eyes. Don't see me. Oh, Jesus. See Jesus this morning. See Jesus. See Jesus. See Jesus. See Jesus. All over. All over. I don't even, I'm not even asking. I'm not even asking. All over. The power of God is here. 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 The same person you are holding. No. The same person you are holding. All over. All over. So that you will know. You will know that he sent me. He sent me here. That is it, 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 that is it. All over, all over this assembly. All over this assembly. All over this assembly. All over this assembly. Move. In a bush cutter. A man la mano ria bashakata. A la hoske telemon honi abashakata le manu. Imbra mozuni abacaba la godo ini. Imbroske le mashakatalia. Imbra mazanda katabazuni abacaba. Imbra mosheke telebozuni abacaba. Imbra mozuni abacaba. There's someone here you have never spoken in tongue. Here he comes, here he comes, here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. Come on now, take it. The one that called me doesn't lie. He sent me to you. To you, to you, to you. To you. The name they used to call you. I'm telling you, after this meeting, you are living there. The limitation over your life is about to be broken. Kayagados can him, no honey hand there. In Bromo, no honey, Abajaka Tabazunia Cotia, in Bromozunde, Le Mono Cotia Bacaba, Livano Cotia Bazunia, in Bromozunde, Le Mono Cotia Bacaba, and Horse Catalamanda, in Brahma no honia, in Bromo Shaketa Legado, Ragados Cotia, in Brahma Kanda, Zunte Le Moscate, in Brahma Shakata Lagado, in Bromozunde in the Horse Cotia, in the Catala Mazunda Catia Bacaba, in Bromozunde Catia Bacaba Lagado Cotia. Imbro mozunda katiabo no honi abakaba. Imbro mozunda katia abakaba. Inda katole godo mozunda katia abakaba lagado. Imbro boshe katole godo zgenaya. Inda bosh katala godo mozunda katia abakaba libano. Imbro boshe katole bo. There's somebody that is holding somebody that is pregnant. The bad report about that pregnancy has just been torn. Has just been torn. Has been torn. I'm telling you, there was a, a there is a pregnant woman here. You came to this church because of bad report, but he's torn. He's torn. Abba, the one that sent me can't lie. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. <laughs> mm -hmm. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Listen carefully. Listen carefully. Listen carefully. <clears throat> Listen carefully. There's someone here. Your father, your mother, they are Muslim. <laughs> you know? When God sends you to a church like Divine Majesty, you really need to apply yourself here. Because if you don't, there is a particular sacrifice in your family. I won't speak more than that. That that sacrifice has been following you everywhere. 
Now, the sign is that you keep rising and falling, rising and falling, rising and falling. As I'm talking to you now, as I'm talking to you now, except for the altar of divine majesty, you have had accident in the time past that you can't explain. But as I'm talking to you now, this altar is speaking against that sacrifice. Is speaking against that sacrifice. And by the power in the name of Jesus, you will conquer. You have conquered. You will remain conquering. Praise the Lord. The second thing that happened, if you can permit me. Let's see that scripture again. The second thing that happened, Ezekiel 37, as you prophesy. The second thing that happened, I want you to see from the scripture. What is the second thing that happens? Quickly, 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 quickly. Ezekiel 37, help me. Verse, go to verse 7. The second thing that happened. So I prophesy as I was uh, commanded. And as I prophesied, there was a, a shake, a noise. The second thing is that there was, behold, a shaking. Amen? Amen? What is the meaning of shaking? Can somebody demonstrate shake, 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 shake? Stand up and do shaking, shaking, shake, 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 shake. Say shake, 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 shake. Come on now, help me. Say shake, 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 uh, like I said last week, laziness does not belong to the true kingdom of God. Laziness, it does not belong. Any ministry that we do well, they cannot afford to be lazy. Any man, any woman who, whose business will, will suffer, you will know from the time the person sleeps and wake up. But any man whose business will do well, you will see that they have one common secret. Do you understand? They always sleep late and wake early. It's one secret. It's an open secret. Everybody understands it. If you get to your office by 10 as the owner of the business, you already know you have killed the business. Do you understand? But if you get to your market, let's assume you sell in a Dumota, and you get there by 6 a.m., and you pray, for seven or from, from 6 a.m. to 7 to 8 and you now open you know it will it will serve faster but if you are still sleeping and you are having all manners of dream at home and you leave your home by 10 a.m. I'm not talking about Wednesday you leave your home by 10 a.m. and you get to market by 12 by 12 people are finished selling do you understand one day in Aguda here I went to buy paint by myself as I sat down to, pay, to, to, to buy the paint, I went very early. I met the young lady praying. I don't know the kind of prayer, but very dangerous prayer. They gave her in a church an oil. And that oil, very powerful. She put one in her tongue. Used the other one, one to sprinkle around the floor. And said, today, any man or woman that comes here, whatever I say, they must accept any price I call, they must buy. That's why I sat down. No, ladies girl, small girl. I admire the lady that she understands the power that she carries. The only problem is, I was the only problem. So, immediately she finished. She saw me. Say, welcome daddy. I said, how are you, my daughter? How much is this? <laughs> she looked me. I look at her. She said, 2,800. I said, I will pay 2,000. He said, no, never. It is 2,800. Oh. I said, my dear, is it because of the prayer? He can only walk after me. <laughs> she said, sir, I said, that thing that you did will walk after me. As long as I'm here, <laughs> it's neutralized. She said, how many paints do you want to carry? I said, now we are talking. Or the issue is for some people. It's only for some people. It works. They think they work. If they tell you Juju doesn't work, it's because you know nothing. 
Do you understand? But there are people that Juju sees, he bows. He can't walk. So, immediately, for me not to spoil the whole thing, she carried my paint and gave me. And said, nah, I pity for the people that will enter this shop. As I was going, people were trooping. And the lady did a smile. The 2,800. <laughs> nah, only 2,800. I can buy more now. Do you understand? When you have nothing on the inside. Somebody say, shake, 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 shake. Say anywhere they have tied my destiny. Shake, 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 shake. Come on now. Anywhere they are owe you. Shake, 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 shake. Anywhere they are owe you. Shake, 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 shake. Shake, shake, shake. Anywhere they are holding what belongs to you. Shake, 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 shake. Any kingdom housing your destiny. Shake. Come on now. Somebody shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Shake it now. Shake it now. Shake it now. Play the, play the keyboard for me. Don't worry. You can shake your own by you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible says, I, the Lord, will shake the heaven one more time. There are people that God needs to shake some places for. Stand up on your feet. You are going to lift up your body. You are going to say, Father, come on and say, Father, shake the heaven for me. Shake the earth for me. Shake the coven for me. Shake the altar for me. Shake the shrine for me. Shake the mammoth for me. Shake the forest for me. Shake the land for me. Anything, anything buried against me. Shake, 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 shake it. Shake any kingdom. Any kingdom tormenting me. Any kingdom. Kingdom of the air. Kingdom of river. Kingdom of water, or Gothic group, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake, shake them, shake, shake them for me. Lift up your right hand. Lift up your right hand. Lift up your right hand. I want you to say with me, say, my father, I receive an arrow. I shoot it into the enemy camp. Anywhere my enemies are, let them hear this arrow. Let this arrow shake them. Let this arrow shake them. Release the arrow into four corners. Release it. Release your own arrow. Release it now. Release it now. Release it now. Release your arrow. Release your arrow. I say shake. 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 Lift up your voice. Say shake now. Shake it now. Shake it now. Shake. Shake. I command them to shake. Everywhere this arrow has got into, whether from my village or from another village, anywhere the battle is coming from, you have received the arrow. Begin to shake. 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 Hold on. Hold on. You remember? There was a particular king that went to meet a prophet. And the prophet told him, he said, take, take this arrow. He says, and shoot. The man thought it was an ordinary shooting. He didn't know it was the ordinary that produces the extraordinary. From here, you are sending those arrows to four corners. Wherever the problem started from. Wherever the problem may be. Whatever altar no matter how strong whether it's from the mermaid water whether it's from the forest whether it's by power of the air you are returning the arrow into four corner make sure your own is four arrow shoot now shoot now shoot shoot i shoot i shoot and i shoot and begin to command them to shake lift up your voice and shake 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 Shake, shake, shake. Keep walking, 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 
Don't keep silent, don't keep silent, don't keep silent. Don't keep silent, don't keep silent. The battle is going on. There is fear battle in the spirit realm. become real and devil become real you can't have power you can't so these three powerful hallelujah now amen tie it to something make sure you give it all you've been waiting for a long time this is it this year we finish but not without your miracle not without your breakthroughs not without your signs and wonder Amen. not without your joy Amen. not without your promotion Amen. not without your settlement Amen. you will be settled this year Amen. you have been seen many years but today i am decreeing to you that this year will be your best year Amen. your finishing will make you start the next year better Amen. your finishing will make you trust god more your finishing will make you to teach others about the faithfulness of God. Your finishing will terminate every insult in your life. Can I get you people say a better amen? So I don't belong to those prof prophets that prophesy and you won't see the prophecy. No, this one you will see it. Because if I don't hear, I won't prophesy to you. If I don't hear, I won't tell you. There is no point of exciting you. I won't excite you. There's nothing I'm, I'm doing here. Amen? So what God says is what I will tell you. If he doesn't talk, I will finish preaching. I will work out how they go. If you like, say, Pastor, you didn't prophesy. I will say, yes, so I didn't prophesy. Say, Next time I will come and prophesy. Praise the Lord. So tell the powerful hallelujah. Amen? That will say to somebody. Amen. Who is the person? Yes. I don't like people saying me. Oh. <laughs> Can you imagine? They change to English again. Say, I. Oh, God, what's your name now? Eh? Honorable Ucho Obona. You are bearing my middle name. Do you know me before? You don't know me? Ah. I want for you. What's your name? Eh? Okay. You want me to prophesy to you? Who is receiving? <laughs> hey. Let me prophesy to this man. The man is looking at me. He's nothing like a lizard. You, you are already telling him you are receiving on his behalf. I should, you see dangerous people. Okay, you, you sure you want something? You sure? You don't look like you too. Eh? You want something? You want something? 
I have taught you people enough to let you know that church is a dangerous place. Church is a dangerous place. Some people are meant to be church servants throughout their life. They, they just use them to clean church. So they are called church rats. Yes. When they say the people that will sow seed, they can't ever give them anything. My wife was like that before. My wife was like that. Until one day I called for seed. And when she was coming out, I told her, sit down. I married from my church. When she was coming out to sow seed, I told her, sit down. I'm talking about big seed. People that will give big seed. She began to cry. Why would this man say I should go and sit down for seed? Because she was like a church rat. That if my head says I cannot qualify, if my own pastor says I cannot join those people, he said, no, I must break it today. And my wife broke through and came to the altar. Whatever it takes, I will give. And she knelt down. That's how they look at. Which can, which can spirit possess this lady like this? 100,000 you. <laughs> And she gave. I didn't know she was sowing a seed that would attract me, Oga. <laughs> Today I'm a hook. Pastor Demian, I'm a hook. <laughs> you are laughing, Pastor. Now, so I did hook. Uh, and this one, I can't, I can't hook it. Because her weeping attracted heaven and she sowed that seed in tears. She sowed it in tears. Guess what? Her passport that she's supposed to go to London with, she handed it over to me and God Almighty is my witness. It's not possible for me to lay hand on any passport and for them to reject it in, in any nation. It has never happened to me. I have that grace until your own. So they rejected it. I said, but you know it's not possible now. They cannot reject you. She said, yes. I don't know what happened. That's what I was telling them. That, ah, daddy, we fought. I fought at the embassy. That, do you know who, who anointed this thing? They said, who? That she was telling them my name. And the, and the consul that came has to come out to say, ah, what do you mean that when your pastor anoints, they cannot reject? He said, I am telling you. My pastor cannot anoint because it always happened, like I told you. As she was going, phew, ah, I look again. I say, hello, uh, hello, sister, come, pass like this again. That's <laughs> so she passed. You know, men of God, too, they look. I uh, don't know. No. Look at these people. Men of God, they look. <laughs> now wow oh men of god they look for your place they they look as you walk out the first one i say walk out again ah uh -uh. inside this church uh -huh. now me won't use my hands send this one to london so i told her sister sit down i think i know the reason they rejected it today today I put a seal upon your life in the name of Jesus Christ. She said, I don't understand. I said, don't worry, you can go. Ah, Pastor, the dangerous. That's it. I have sealed it up already. I put a seal from that day before I start coming closer to the house. I, and I came to the house one day. She said, Pastor, what are you doing in my house? I said, well, I saw a flower that was in this house that I want to plug. She said, my house, flower. <laughs> my house is face me and face me. There is nothing like flower. If you plant flower, it will not grow. I said, this one is already, <laughs> this one is grown. This is a very good flower. Ladies and gentlemen, now I unplug the flower. Now, so I am hooked to tomorrow. Somebody put your hands together for Jesus. <laughs> Three powerful hallelujah. Are you ready? Yes, After everyone, give me a song. Are you ready? Amen. Somebody praise the Lord! <laughs> Great 
Lift up your hands. Greatly to be praised. Greatly to be praised. Lift up your hands, please. Father, you reign. Great are you, Lord. You are greatly to be praised. You are greatly to be praised. Father, you reign. Your name is Zion. Number two, are you ready? Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Now, this number two is a very long ladder. Amen. When you are shouting, you are climbing, and you will remain on top after today. As you are shouting, you will keep climbing. Climbing over all those that have gone ahead of you. Climbing all those who are going to compete with you. you are, I, I'm telling you, as this hallelujah is going, that's what is going to be happening in the realm of the spirit. Are you ready? Somebody praise the Lift up your hands. You've got ties and seasons in your head. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. You come for light out of darkness. My Father, you don't need a man to be the God you are. For you are chosen to call me your own. You are God. You are God. From beginning. Come on now. At all. You are God. Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. Set my heart on fire for you. For you. Oh, Set my life in order for, for you, for, for you. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. <laughs> hey, set my heart on fire for you, mighty God, for you. Hey, 
Let me burn for you, Lord. Set me on fire. Touch me with your fire. Touch me with your fire. Let me burn with your fire. Let your fire possess me. Let your fire satiate in me. Holy Ghost fire. 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 Just play, just play, just play. Don't sing, no song. Just play, just play, just play, play. Just keep playing, keep playing, keep playing, keep playing. There's going to be fresh baptism, fresh fire, 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 fresh fire. There's fresh anointing coming. There's fresh anointing. You need it. There is fresh anointing. There's fresh anointing. There's fresh anointing. There's fresh anointing. 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 
There is fresh anointing, fresh anointing, fresh anointing. Slow down. Thank you, Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Now, in order for me to finish, I know that I've finished preaching. The third thing that happened, write it down, those of you who are writing. The third thing that happened is that sinews came together. The flesh came together. Now, what could that mean? Write it down. I'm not going to pray now because I know that I need to finish now. The third thing that happened is that flesh, sinew came together, meaning divine settlement. What you have lost will come back. Every good thing you have lost will come back. Things that didn't work before shall begin to work. Hallelujah. Where they said no to you, they will begin to say yes. Those that have forgotten about you, they will suddenly remember you. If you are the person I'm talking to, stand up and shout hallelujah. Amen. Those of you who are into contract, those of you who are into contract, only you should be standing. And I need you as I pray for you now. Those of you who do contract job, you do, who, who believe in contract, stand up. If you are, the, you are into contract, stand up. I'm going to prophesy to you. Hallelujah. Only those of you who are into contract, you are interested in contract, you want to go into government or into business that has to do with contract, stand up. Those are the only people that I'm talking about. Now, I need you to ask God for one contract this year, not seven, just one major contract that will terminate insults, that will take you to another level of your life. Just one major contract. Can you play the keyboard for me, please? Just one, 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 one that even January, maybe you didn't have that. February, you didn't get that. March, you didn't get that. May, June, July, you didn't have that. August, September, October, you didn't have that. November, you didn't have that. But just one day before the closing of this year, one contract, as I declare you to open, just ask God, just ask God, one major contract, one major con contract. What major, if you're a businessman, businesswoman, join them, join them, join them, stand up. If you're a businessman, businesswoman, join them, stand up. Just one, 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 one opening, one connection, one connection, one connection, one connection. Your market, I'm telling you, just one introduction, one connection. People that matters, people that matter, market that matters. I don't know. Limondo koshkete, limando kotiya bakaba. Father, I ask for the release of your holy angels right now. Remotion teliya bakaba shakata legado. Remasun teliya bakaba shanda la monduriya bakaba. Keep praying, keep praying, keep praying. If you are standing as a market man, market woman, if you are standing as a businessman, businesswoman, keep standing and keep declaring. There is a contract. There is a contract you need. There is some one proposal that I've been tying down. I'm ordering it now. I'm ordering it to come back to you. Remotion te liman. There is somebody fire I can see. Remasha kata lagado kotia. Imbra manda lagado. Imbra I call it. 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 Remasha kata lagado skete li boskete. Imbra mazunde liaba shakata. Masanta liaba shakata li bandaria. Imbra moshe kete li bandaria. If you if there be any man any woman that is here, you are expecting something good before the end of this year. There is something major you are expecting. Stand up, stand up and join them. 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 Le moshe kete li bramozundi abakaba. Imbra moshe kete li branda. There's something important you are expecting. There's something major. There is a move that you are expecting. There is a blessing you are expecting. There is a favor you are expecting. There is a connection you are expecting. Stand up and join them. And join them. Maroshka. Imbra Mashakata, Imbra Mozundelia, Imbra. Keep praying, keep praying, church. Keep praying, keep praying, keep praying. The sinew are coming, the flesh are coming, the connection are coming, the people that matter are coming. There is a connection going on. Rema Shanda Labanduria, Imbra Moshekete Legodoskete, Imbra Mozundiria. The sinew came together, the flesh came together. It has to work. It must work this time. It must work this time. It has to work this time. It has to work this time. Mashakata Labodo, Imbramanuria Bakaba, Imbromoshekete Libranda, Imbromoshekete, Imbromozunde, Limanda, Imbromoshekete Libanduria, Marondo, Limanda, Imbramakoskate, Imbromoshekete Libanduria, Imbramakoskata, Imbromozunde, Limanda, Imbromoshekete Libranda. Keep 
keep praying, keep praying, keep praying. Keep praying. Lift up your voice and pray. Divine Majesty, you are my God. Oh God, you are my God. Please, if you are standing, close your eyes. What I want you to do for me, wherever you, your market is, wherever your business is, whatever it is, your company name, keep, keep mentioning it. You are blessed. Mention the name, like mention the name of your company. Say you are blessed. You are blessed. Keep saying it. Keep saying it. Your market is blessed. Keep saying it. Keep saying it. For about two minutes, the angels are taking stock of those names. There is a roll call. The angels are moving in now. Keep saying it. 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 One more minute. Keep saying it. Ship you. Yes, sir. Lift up your hands now. You are God all by yourself. One more time. Sing that song one more time. Eight to eight. Come on now. For who you are. I praise your name. I praise your name. For who you are. I worship you. I worship you. You are God of all yourself. None can compare. None can compare, God. You are God of all yourself. Your name. For who you are, for who you are, I bless you. you. You are God all by yourself. You are God all by yourself. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, precious Father. Please close your eyes. Wow, precious Father. Thank you. Thank you for this move. Thank you. Slow down. Father, thank you. Thank you for... Wow. Thank you for... <laughs> thank you for every company that have been lifted up to you. Thank you for the angels of God descending and ascending. Taking up the prayers of the saints straight by themselves, unhindered to the throne of God. And Lord, thank you because they will come back with the same result, unhindered, in the name of Jesus. Thank you for every market men, market women that are here. Thank you, O oh God, because as they have said that into your hearing and the angels have taken it straight to your throne of grace. Father Lord, they will bring it to the to every market man, market woman here, unhindered in the name of Jesus. Thank you for as many that are standing for divine connection. 
father thank you because finally they are connected to people that matters thank you oh god because the connection to finish this year father and better has been given to them in the name of jesus thank you the connection that will make their joy to be full has been released just now in jesus mighty name we pray sit down sit down sit down i'll, I'll finish shortly number 14 that happened the fourth thing that happened, take your note, make sure you write. The fourth thing, the fourth thing that happened is that they stood exceeding great army. Meaning, meaning that you are going to have proof in your hand. You are going to have testimonies in your hand. You are going to have something to show for the end of this year. If you are one of them, stand on your feet this, this, this afternoon. Stand on your feet, one of you, that you are going to have a testimony at the end of this year. Stand up. If you are one of those people, stand up. Stand up. I want you to look at me today and say, Pastor. I'm not talking to everybody, only those that will finish this year with testimony. Say, Pastor only those i didn't talk to everybody say pastor, pastor. me yeah. matthew and milo yeah. i will finish this year with the testimony yeah. just look at me say pastor. pastor i am finishing this year with the testimony yeah. say my name is matthew and milo pastor yeah. and i'm saying it with my mouth yeah. that i'm finishing this year with a proof i will have something to show I need you to talk to the next person and say, my sister, what is your name? But my own name is Matthew Amailo. I will finish this year with a testimony. I will have my testimony. I will have something to show. Turn to the next person and say, my sister, you are here today, oh, and my name is Matthew Amailo. And I'm, and I'm talking to your hearing that this year will not finish without my miracle. I will finish this year with miracle. Take a step out of your seat and tell somebody, say, my brother, I'm talking to you. That this year, I will finish with a testimony. This year, I am finishing with a testimony. In Jesus' name. This year, I'm finishing with a testimony. This year, I'm finishing with a testimony. In Jesus' name. If you believe that, put your hands together for Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, sit down, sit down sit down like i told us last wednesday somebody once asked me he said pastor matthew why do you believe in seed so much i have my friends here in one seed i gave i gave a seed of 40 million naira, and <laughs> and somebody say my wife was the one that told me that i'm crazy and truly i, I am I took my Mercedes CLS 550. I sold because my church was expanding. I sold it to get the next building. I don't care. There is nothing I ever have that I hold so valuable that I can't let go. Because anything you have that you can't let go is what? It's your God now. It becomes your God. Last week, like I told you, they carried the man to America and they have forgotten that the ticket money is higher than the seed that the man of God called. They've forgotten that when they did operation, they did operation of one point something million naira, not, not dollar. By interpreter, I don't know what it is in, dollar, in, in dollars. I think 5,000 something dollars, which is very small. When they finished that one, they closed back the man and they said they can't find anything. They brought back the man. They took him to one shrine in Ogun State. When they got there, they told them, the first thing before you can see, Baba dropped 700,000 naira. Of course, they carried the money, 700,000, and drop, bam. When they dropped, the Baba began the incantation and began to go. And began to go. When he got to his street, he said, Hey, Kilele, Kilele, ah! They say, Baba, what did happen? They say, Ah, this one, no shrine can do it. <laughs> nah, they forgot 700. They left without the 400. One of my friends, your pastor, told me of a story. Okay, Apostle is your pastor. 
Uh, it's my friend. He told me of a story of one woman that they told to go to Lego, um, Todd Mellon Bridge, stop there, and every three, three hours or so, carry 350,000 and throw inside the lake. Only a poor person will say, hey, oh. what is that? And the person rush and carry moto and pack. Brrr, bam. Brrr, bam. Brrr, bam. I said, God, why didn't you teach me how to swim? If I know how to swim, don't you know that I would make good money? I'll just go and myself and the mommy water them. We will be fighting every time. Because once I enter into the water, they will say, no, this is not your territory. This is not church. Go to church. I will tell them I want to start church inside water too. <laughs> okay. I have not... One of the reasons I hardly put my hand on people's head is because of my made spirit i don't normally like that when i go to somebody's church and if you have observed when they get to a stage i will call pastor demian now you get your thing come come and carry your thing <laughs> do you understand and wisdom is profitable to direct wisdom because you just be in your house. One man of God went to minister in Portacourt. They carried him from the hotel and passed through the wall and dumped him there and told him, Don't come back. Don't come back. In the morning, the man ran. He forgotten he entered through through plane. He entered through ABC to come back to Lagos. So by wisdom, most of the things I ask you to do. If you follow through, you will be delivered. Do you understand? If you follow through, that's why I did not come here to outshine the man of God. Thank God I have a lot of respect for him. He's the only person that is fit enough to dedicate my altar. He's the only person that is fit. That's the truth. I check men of God, very few. So there is no point in deceiving myself. Do you understand? So I have a lot of respect for this place. And that's why I prepare very well when I'm coming. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So, my story in childbearing, before I could have children, even though I'm looking like a man, you are surprised. If, <laughs> do you know why you are? Even though I'm looking like a man, when I was single, I did not know that apart from sex, there's something else that can kill a man without them knowing. Do you understand? I was taking Coca-Cola, taking Coca-Cola, which one is okay. I was taking it, taking it, and it was killing. I didn't know. So when I got married, I began for one year, three months, or thereabout, we began to pray. The prayer warrior began to be prayed for. Deliverance minister needed deliverance. I began to tell people that I need, please pray for me, I also need a child though. <laughs> and any pastor I tell, they'll begin to look, eh, Pastor Matthew, what did you say? I said, I need a child. They say, <laughs> I bet don't make me fear. You, <laughs> me, now you go pray for you for child. I mean, now you go pray for me. I had issues. And so, my wife said to me, I should go to the lab. That's the biggest insult of my life. Go to lab. Number one, which lab will I enter to? I can't fit in. I'm too big for lab. So, my wife told me, you know, women are powerful. If they talk to you and you can't hear at night, they, they have one nail. They have one nail at the center. When they do crow, every man head correct back. My wife just did that this film for night. Will you go? I said, I don't reach there. <laughs> so in the morning, I went to one lab. I won't tell you where it is. When I did finish, they asked me to come back in the evening for a result. When they gave me the result, they, the laboratory told me, he said, there is no how I can have a child on this earth. With this result. 
So I knew I had a, a problem. Although I returned the fire back to the laboratory man, no. Now you no go have child. He said, no, sir. He said, no, sir. I know you are a pastor. I said, how do you know? He said, I know you now. You are the pastor that come to that redeemed church. I said, Jesus Christ. See, I said, then disgrace myself. I moved from there. I told my wife, I will leave Suruliri. Let me go to another place. I went. Did another test. As I was finishing, the doctor looked at me again and told me, oh God, if this is your result, there is no how you can have a child on earth. Second testimony. I went to the third one. They told me the same thing. Fourth one. They told me to the same. Fifth one. Somewhere in Ilubeju. Somebody from this church took me to the lab. Somebody from this church told me, Pastor, don't worry. I will cover your shame. Let me take you to laboratory. I said, I don't mind. At this time, I don't care about shame. Let me go. Now, so we reached there. The man did test. Did test. And the man said one word to me. And said to me, Oh, yeah, with this kind of stupid, stupid, stupid test. This is the worst test I've ever seen. You cannot have a child on earth. Then my wife started crying. Hey, hey, hey. So I said, don't worry. There is my house in Adotola. There is an hospital there. That man will tell me the truth. Even the doctors lied to me. He can never lie. So we went back there. When we got to Adetola, the man received me very well. Pastor, my pastor. Because anytime you enter that hospital, you will always get results. So we did the test. After I did the test, he said we should come back the next day. I came back the next day. The man looked at the result, looked at me. Look at the result, looked at me. He looked at it three times. He said, I can't talk. I said, you have to talk. Oh. He said, Pastor, this must not be your result. Let's assume it's your enemy. Your enemy will never have a child on it. My wife said, <laughs> uh, uh, if it, this is like play, like play, this thing is turning into real. Ladies and gentlemen, we got home that day. You know women now. My wife entered into spirit. You know women's spirit now. You know women's spirit. Women, women's spirit is not prayer. Women's spirit is crying and talking. Women's spirit is crying and talking. This house you know, will contain the two of us. So I told her, I'm a mama, that this house will not contain us. One person must live for one. Do you understand? But before you leave, give me two months. She said, I don't understand. I said, before you go to your father's house, Give me two months. You will be pregnant at the second month. Just give me two months. She said, I don't understand. What do you want to do? I said, no, we are going to do it together. <coughs> but she, but she, she was ready. She said, anything I'm ready to do. I said, we are going to give three seed. We are going to locate three powerful water. Because they have confirmed it in seven places that I cannot have a child. Only an altar that is blazing with fire that can speak for me and revive it. So I told my wife, my wife said, what are we going to give? I said, cow, ram, and goat. I said, leave the chicken. My wife said, what does that mean? I said, those, those three things signify three children. I don't need four. I need three. And those three is what I want. And it will come out by gift. My wife said, I'm with you. I said, you, you are ready? I said, we have to do it this month. Oh. My wife said, my salary, I can give you my salary. I said, how much are you taking out of it? She said, no, 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 no. I'll give you everything. And so my wife gave me her salary. Her salary was very big then, no? Do you understand? So she gave me. Of course, I had good change then. So I collected my own, all together, took the other one, went straight then to redemption camp. I went, gave them a cow, took the ram somewhere else. When I got to give them cow, one person told me, you cannot drop it here. And told me, you cannot drop this kind of gift here. 
You have to locate so 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 person before you go. I said, look, if you if you don't know what is wrong with me, if I give you, if I give you blow, the guy say, ah, but boy, you're born again, no? I said, I am not born again. I am not born again. Matter of life and death. You, you will reject my offering. Now, now you, I give it to. If I blow you, so the guy said, yeah, go for we really I said, yes. So as I dropped that one, entered my car, as I just entered my car, I zoom up small to go and drop the ram. A pregnant woman was standing, saying, please help me. Uh, I said, what, what? Ah, uh, this is the car I dropped now. I said, this is the car I dropped. I recognize this seat. I reversed back. As I was reversing back, somebody has already stopped. I came down. You cannot carry her. The guy said, why can't I carry? I said, because she's my seat. Now me drop the cow. You can't carry her. The woman said, we need the cow. I said, hey, don't talk. No concern you. Now me. This man don't give anything. Follow me. So she, she just entered the cow. Uh, sorry, I said cow. Entered the car. I drove her straight. Where are you going? She says, you're going to the hospital. As I brought her to the hospital, what is your problem? She said she does not have money to pay for, for hospital bill. <laughs> Didn't I tell you? Say, now you, now you are drawn for the altar. I won't take her money. If it is money, me, I get money. Money cannot make a woman pregnant. Do you understand? If it's money, I had the money. But this one, you go burn now. I say, where's the doctor? Give me the doctor. Every bill I'm paying. The woman say, I don't know you. I say, now me, now me drop you for water. <laughs> <laughs> I recognize it. I recognize that seed that I drop. Because I'm not blind spiritually. I did not drop anything in the flesh. I told God three children. I told God three gifts. And I knew when the first one manifested. So when she was... When she was talking, how much? A gold label one hospital bill. The total bill, 28,000. Now, here's somebody will deny me of what I've been praying for since. 28,000. I paid. I told them, Madam, I'm giving 28,000 to the doctors. I will give you 22,000 naira to hold, making 50,000. This baby, you go deliver him. He says, Sir, I don't even know who you are. I say, Now, me drop you for water. <laughs> what are you talking about? Now, me drop you for water. And so, I paid, went to the ATM, collected 22,000, gave her, making 50,000. It was very easy for me. I came out, dropped, I went to the national prayer head, dropped my ram, and went to another church, dropped goat. I came back to the old camp. I spent seven days saying, Father, I never knew you can receive my sacrifice like this. Old. And I thank God and I thank God. And the seven days, listening to this miracle, on the seventh days, I was in my room. I didn't come out home. As I was praying, I saw one woman carrying baby. Uh, no, sorry. Came to my house to greet me. And he was carrying babies. Guess how many children? Three. And they knock at the door. I open. They enter. They say, your children want to come and greet you. <laughs> and so I received them. Immediately I woke up. I carried phone. Can't call my wife. Hello? She said, yeah. uh, but you don't normally talk to me when you are fasting and praying. I said, no, I'm coming home tonight. I'm going to finish you this night. <laughs> I am coming with fire. If you like it or not, those demons that say you will not be pregnant, let me see them. Tell them I'm coming. That over today, <laughs> ah. <laughs> that's all. So, now, that's so why I came back to Lagos. And uh, by February, when my wife was supposed to see her period, she called me from work and told me I saw my period. I said, did you say you saw it? She said, yes. I said, come home and forget about it. She said, that kind of thing cannot be forgotten. I said, forget about it. Nothing more to be done. If I have done everything that heaven expects me to do, and you see your period, Matthew Amailu has nothing to offer to anybody. No apology. No prayer to be offered to anybody. Nothing more. Come back home, my dear. 
and I've spoken. She said, okay, can I go to my friend and I will call you later. So she went to her friend that worked in Eric and they gisted and gisted and she came home. And she came home, she prepared food for me. We didn't talk about it, we slept. In the morning, she wore her clothes. We bathed together, went to work. She came back, the same thing. In the morning, she went. We did it for three days. And I'm looking, ah, wait to. Person, where is she? Mercy, you know, the wear pad. Organ in the may hair. So I said, hello, madam. Something is missing. She said, what is it? I'm going to work. I said, no. Since the day you saw this mess four days ago, you never they use pad. What's going on? She said, which messes? Is it time? Ah, wait. Oh. Ah, organ. Okay. Hey. Oh, Jesus. She said, I have two. Let me go and test. She went to the room. She tested. She ran out. Hey. I said, what is it? He said, I'm pregnant. I said, come on now. I'll be man. Uh -uh. What did they happen? I said, let me be man. Okay? Let me be man. Please stand up, ma. Do, and she and the one in the back, stand up. Stretch forth your hand. Stretch forth your hand. Please, those at the middle, help me help them to stand up. It's not easy. Stretch forth your hand towards me. I pray for you. This year will not, will not go with you. You will not go with this year. You will not die this year. Come on now, say a better amen. You will not die this year. The hand of God will rest upon you. The hand of God will rest upon your home. Whatever you do, you will prosper. The Lord will protect you. The Lord will lead you. The Lord will see you through. No accident will come near you. In the name of Jesus. The Lord will take you further. The Lord will give you joy. You will have peace in the name of Jesus. From today, every step you take, may heaven back you up. In the name of Jesus. Every step you take today, may heaven back you up. The Lord will support you. In the name of Jesus. You will never fail again. In the name of Jesus. Every arrow shot from any angle, it will naturally backfire in the name of Jesus. From today, your joy shall be full. When you sleep, God will fight for you. When you wake up, God will fight for you. Every known or known battle, God will fight for you. I declare you victorious in the name of Jesus. I declare you a winner in the name of Jesus. Before the end of this year, you will have testimonies in the name of Jesus. You will have reason to celebrate in the name of Jesus. You will be like a tree planted by the riverside. You will bring forth fruitfulness. You will bring forth joy. You will be successful in the name of Jesus. Before I come back here, your testimony will be the highest here in the name of Jesus. I say before I come back here, even if I decide to come back, as I go, I come back, you will have received your miracles in the name of Jesus Christ. So it is, so it shall be in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. I pray for those of you that are traveling, that as you are going, God will go with you. God will send his holy angel ahead of you to bring you safely and bring you back safely in the name of Jesus. The evil eyes will not see you. We will blindfold them in the name of Jesus. Every evil plan on your way and in your villages, we cancel it now in the name of Jesus. With their eyes, they will see you, but they will never do you any harm in the name of Jesus. And before we say a big new year, your own testimony will be the biggest in the name of Jesus. And by next year, you are going to be a revelation. People will wonder how you made it, and you will tell them it is Jesus the God of divine majesty that he has done it for you in the name of Jesus. Can I get two people say better amen? Amen and amen. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you so much.